Hey guys, I'm out here with Brian looking at this piece of property which is really beautiful. This house right now is going for 54000 and we weren't really planning on buying a house necessarily. We were just looking for a piece of land where we could live with our fifth wheel. But when you look at this whole big piece of property and this house for 54000 you start to wonder, you know, what God has in store. If we could somehow manage something like this, um, you know, it's a small house, it needs some work, the inside, the roof looks, yeah, seems to be um, in pretty good shape here, except for interior things that would all need to be ripped out, but nothing, it doesn't look like anything major. It's a really cool piece of property. There's a creek running down here, which is what you always want for um, solar, which we want to eventually do. And it's got these cute little bridges. You can see how big the piece of land is. It's three quarters of an acre, and it's nice, flat. Great land. Looking behind us, there's all these beautiful trees. And kind of the neighborhood, there's really straight across here. Maybe someone will eventually develop on this land, but it's kind of slopey. But going up the street, the houses are pretty spread apart. You're not going to have too much change going on in this neighborhood, which is really beautiful. So, um, the house itself looks like a little ranch. It's probably not very big square footage, but we're into the whole uh, little house movement anyway, so it's perfect. And I love this deck. It's got a really cool deck. I could picture fixing it up a little bit and sitting out here. Big enough for a party. We got benches here. We could stain these and uh, clean them up and make them like new. And it goes all the way around to here, which is really cool because now there's a like cannery room or something back here. And you can actually walk in and kind of peek in. The shelves are kind of falling down in there, but uh, hey, easy to fix that. And if you notice, if you can see, it's kind of dark, right there is a stairwell that goes up. So there's actually an upper deck to this. So you can make this into an office, a studio, or you can use it as a cannery room because we do want to start to, um, can our vegetables and fruits and things and this would be a nice place for a garden right over here. I'm trying to think of what the exposure is here. Oh the sun is right above me right now. We came in I think we're gonna be going uh going back we go east. So thinking straight ahead right here is uh, north. Would that makes sense. The sun sets in the west. So yeah, I think this this is facing north. So the house, when you're looking at the house, is facing north. So this would be south over here. And um, west. Or is that east? I might have that backwards. Anyway, <laughs> it's really pretty pretty property and it's got some great possibilities. So, oh, I was thinking about the um, YouTube channel. I think it's Following the Hearts or Traveling with the Hearts or something like that. And that's the uh, last name of the couple. And she was talking last night about how they got started and how God provided things that they never thought would happen. And they did all that they could. and didn't know how it was going to work out, but it was kind of amazing. They didn't really give details about how God provided, but he did provide in ways that were far bigger than they could imagine. So you never know what God might do for us. So loving this piece of property and uh, just on our trail, just trying to find our way. Actually, we were just at Southwestern Community College and Brian was signing up for his classes, getting all that taken care of. And we, I still don't have a permanent job, but I'm looking into a few things. And we're still trying to figure out where we're going to end up in Silva. This is Silva, North Carolina. Seems to be 
on our map a lot. So we'll see. And God will show us the way. And that's about it for today. Have a good day.